All right, so a quick video here on this uh, lightweight five inch sort of long range model that I built here. This is actually parts from this ultra light five inch freestyle drone that I reviewed almost a year ago. This has been, actually this has been sitting around for a while because I, I did the conversion, I converted it to DJI and I flew it a few times. Um, I, for some whatever reason, I put it on the shelf and I never made a video about it, even though it was pretty much ready to make a video. So um, I just wanted to put it out that you can do this conversion and then kind of let it let it be at that point. So this frame you can still get on AliExpress. I forget who makes it. I'll link it. Put the link down in the video description if you guys want to pick up this frame. But uh, the motor, the uh, flight stack, is from. Um, that all that's like a ultra light uh, five inch freestyle. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's from this company called TCMMRC, and uh, it was it was sub two fifty. So I think I titled the video something like "Poor Man's Two Fifty or something like that. And and I just, I just basically took those parts off of that drone and then uh, you know put it on this frame. And then I added the Vista and the Nebula Pro camera. I believe this, or maybe this is the run cam link camera, I forget which one this is, but put the DJI system in here, obviously with the antenna, and then added a GPS. This GPS mount did come with the drone. I just pulled this GPS off with some other model and made this into sort of a lightweight five inch, um, you know, long range sort of drone. And I've got an Express LS receiver tucked in there, but now it's over 250 grams. So um, if you're looking for a sub 250 like this long range, you're gonna need a different frame. I just wanted to see if I could make it into a long range with DJI and um, yeah, you can do that and put it obviously at GoPro, a naked GoPro on here. But of course with the battery I was using, you're over 250 grams, but I will show you that. And then um, with this setup here, uh, with these motors, this is the 2004 motors here, it's like 2900 kV. Um, these have a giant C-clip right here that don't that would not work with this hole on this frame. So obviously if you don't want to remove that C-clip, you can't use this frame with these motors. So keep that in mind. I also had to extend the motor wires right here for the back back motors here. It's, it's not really easy to see. You see some shrink, shrink wrap there. I had to make those a little bit longer so that they would reach. So I added some, I had some spare motor wires sitting around. Did that for the two back motors. The two front motors didn't need anything. They, they were fine. But because there's no C-clip here, this bell, you can just kind of just pull it off like so. Now, I have flown this several times and the motors props never flew off. But you know, obviously I wasn't flying super aggressively. Maybe if you did or crashed, it could possibly pop off, but they seem to be fine. Um, so it's not the end of the world. I, mean, I got it to work and having any problems with the, you know, in terms of the model, it flew fine. Um, but yeah, I'm just showing you your ways. Yeah, so now with this new setup here with the DJI, it's coming in quite a bit heavier than it was in the other video, 210 grams, almost 211 grams. And I flew mainly with this Forest 1100 for flight time, of course. And we're coming in here at 298. So if you want to, Get this below 250 you need a battery that weighs almost 50 grams less than this which is let me see here this battery weighs 87 grams so if you need if you want to run a forest on here to get that sub 250 you need to shave off 50 grams from 87 that's going to be you know what 11 less than half <laughs> so maybe a 450 forest might work obviously Knowing that it's so much heavier than 250, I didn't even bother trying. But if you feel like you want to, that's probably what you have to do. But how much flight time are you going to get on a Forest 450 on this one? Probably not a lot, uh, and definitely not really useful for long range. On this 1100, I think I got about a 10 minute flight on this setup here. So uh, if you're looking for flight time, just go with the bigger battery and you have to go over 250. But then, of course, nowadays. You'll need to register it and get remote ID on that and all that. Um, but yeah, I'm not planning on flying this one anymore. I may, yeah, I, think, yeah, I might give this away uh, in a future giveaway. Not the, not the one that's coming up in September, but probably 
one later on because I've got too many items in the September giveaway, so probably not going to be in that one. Anyway, just wanted to put the video out that I did do the conversion because I did mention I was going to talk about it, but then I never made a video about it, so people asked me, where's that video? Sorry, it's like a year late. Um, but yeah, at least it's out, and uh, I'll put the link to the original video from like a year ago down in the video description, so if you want to pick up that model, it's pretty cheap. I think it's like under 100 bucks. I think at the time I made the video, it was like $85. It might be more now, of course, you know, because of inflation, so... Who knows what it is now, but check the link, prices change all the time, and then uh, you'll get an idea of what that costs, and then, and then of course, the frame, and then what, you know, you'll have to do the conversion yourself. Anyway, if you want to make a sort of a cheap uh, DJI conversion to like a little, you know, long range, five inch, lightweight, uh, something like this is, you know, something similar to this is maybe like the Camera 5, or that is, you know, back then, I don't know if they sell it anymore, but I probably ran like, uh, with a DJI probably around 400 bucks. You could definitely do this conversion for way less than that Probably closer to 200 like half the price. So um, If you're looking for a cheap conversion, this is definitely one way to go uh, Obviously, you know with some limitations and some compromises, but this is I would say more than you know Comparable to a Camaro 5 for less than half the cost Anyway, throw those links down in the video description. If you, got, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this That'll do for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.